Hey, what's up, Snell? Welcome to a new episode of Final Final Vlog. <laughs> and today we're gonna be blasting Madrid, Spain's Titan Blood Death. Fuck yes, I love Seven Chalices, but I'm sorry, I love Death just. A little bit more. This is so fucking vicious. The C and D side of this are just absolutely fucking insane. As good as the A side is and the B side, just the tail end of this record. Wow. Titan blood. Death. If you don't know, now you know. Some of the best black death metal ever written and I stand by that statement this shit fucking rules and speaking of black death metal alright I've been meaning to go over this for a while now this is not the original tape this was actually all boxed off nailed up it was insane and this came all the way from Switzerland, completely crushed on the inside. You hear that noise? Well, that is Murgong's demo number one. This was some limited edition box that was sent out and uh... The music inside was pretty much meant to, I guess, never be listened to. It's kind of like a vampire type of, like, coffin. Like, seriously, getting this open broke my vacuum cleaner. It was a fucking mess. And what was even bigger of a bummer was the original tape was completely destroyed. It was kind of one of those few opportunities where I could say sorry but the gimmick actually failed but I think it's cool as shit like it's legit like fucking nailed in this was no joke to open so when they actually were cool enough to send over another copy I was like fucking A because I really really actually enjoy Murgong's music like, this is gnarly as shit. It's like they took black death metal, but, like, they add these, like, kind of punkish D-beat parts with just straight-up death metal vocals that blend into these vocal patterns that straight-up sound like Attila on uh, The Mysterious Dom Satanus. Like, that type of, like, you know, like, how he kind of, like, wails and stuff. There's tons of that on demo number one, which is six tracks of just some of the most mind-ripping, fucking weird, but kind of, at the end of the day, straight-up black death metal with some grinding elements of just straight-up savagery. And... There's some nice DB, like, duh, 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 with normal, like, death metal vocals that bring it into that, like, you know, knuckle dragging, fucking, like, Neanderthal death metal, and it's fucking sick. If I could think of any band out there that I could compare this to, imagine if Suffering Hour happened to give a fuck about, like, playing war metal. Yeah, that, that, that would probably be what this would sound like. But throw in some more obscure as fuck, like noise elements. Uh, I'm pretty sure they use a drum machine. And also, that back and forth vocal, it's not like some good cop, bad cop style of vocals. It's like good cop, worst cop but in the best way possible it's like you think you beat some murder charge and you know you have some cop yelling in your face but you know you know he doesn't have shit because 
you would already be in bracelets if they actually had something on you. If you're ever sitting in an interrogation room, the cops don't have shit. Keep your mouth shut, call a lawyer. But that's a tale for a different day. But, on here, like seriously, it's just the only analogy I feel like is proper to use here. Because there'll be parts where it's just like, I am doing vocals like this. And then I cannot even replicate the next styling of vocals that kick in. Like, it sounds like a fucking demon. Like, it's sick. And knowing that this is a duo, you have Lurg on guitar and bass, and you have 22 on vocals and, um, fuck, uh, noise. So I'm guessing the noise is the drum machine as well, because I can't find if there's a real drummer, and with the drum kit from hell, you can really make drums sound real. So I'm... Um, I can't really pick it out, so the mystery, like, I, I know who's behind this because they messaged me and sent me the fucking package and stuff twice, so I, I don't want to drop names or anything, but yeah, one of these members is fucking cool as shit, and they managed to make some really, really kick-ass music here, and demo number one is still available. But, I really do hope that those two maniacs <laughs> are sold out of the special edition or whatever this was. Because this was, like, if you're going to buy the special edition, this was also, like, covered in, like, grip tape. I think it was, like, it wasn't grip tape, but, like, black electrical tape. It was insane to get this open, and it ended up breaking my vacuum cleaner. I was kind of salty and the tape was damaged, but it's just sent over on a regular model pro tape and it's fucking sick. Seriously, like this is like as fucking bare bones and just like kind of as grim as it gets, like it's sick when it comes to the cosmetics and whatnot. I love the logo. It's like there you go there's your cover art fucking sick I, I just love that kind of like if you look at the first swallowed EP I, I really a lot of bands I've seen recently kind of making just these like real slimy fucking creatures or whatever on the cover, this is some kind of skull, it looks like, that's just oozing out slime and whatnot. Like, I've just noticed a lot of bands kind of, you know, taking this route and whatnot. And there's nothing wrong with that, but Murgong from Switzerland have created something really, really gnarly here. And at times, like I said, the vocals sound sh like straight up suffering hour and then they go into sounding like the fucking loony up in tokus did you call me i know who you are you're teddy duchamp your dad's a loony a loony up in the nut house in tokus he took your ear and he put it to a stove and he burnt it off my father strummed the beach in normandy he's crazier than a shithouse rat no wonder you're acting the way you are, with a loony for a father. You call my dad a loony again, and I'll kill you. Loony, loony, loony. Ah! I'm gonna rip your hair off and shit it on your neck! But what I mean, pretty much, with Murgong's vocals, is it goes from, like, straight-up death metal into, like, this style of vocals that, like, Attila made famous on the first Mayhem full-length the mysterious Dom Satanus like that's what this reminds me a lot of it's like going straight from like into that like but it's real sick on a pretty much straight up blank just pro tape 
doesn't matter, it sounds awesome. And this is something that did not really need the gimmick. The music speaks for itself. Six tracks of blistering black and death metal. Awesome, awesome stuff from fucking Switzerland. Get into this. Mergong. And also, I have noticed this a lot with the whole unreadable font when it comes to the logo, along with some slimy artwork, has been very popular lately in the underground, and this is another example of that, but awesome, awesome stuff, and I highly recommend Demo Number 1 by Mergong. And we were blasting Titan Blood's death from Madrid, Spain. As always, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. You guys and girls fucking rule. Hurls. <laughs>